welcome back to this episode of Learn to Crochet. Um, I do apologize that we didn't get on here last night. You know, I wasn't feeling the best, but we're here tonight. It's no big deal. So what I'm going to show you to do tonight is we're going to finish up the trendy tote bag. I'm going to show you how to do the straps and the little button closure. Um, so that way the bag will be finished and ready to go. And then I'm also going to announce what our next project is going to be. So without any hesitation, let's go ahead and get started with the the strap for the bag. So what you're going to do is you're just going to like you did with the rig with the bag before. You're going to hold your main color and whatever color you have intertwined with the main color. You're going to hold the two strands together. Just do a slip knot. Insert the hook. And then we're going to chain 61. So again, just wrap our yarn over and pull through. We're going to do that 61 times. So two, three, four. All right, there's 60, so we're just gonna do 61. Um, a little trick that we're gonna do is once you get to the 60, you're gonna to wanna to just hold your fingers here, just as a little marker here to let you know where 60 is. Then you're gonna just do one more chain, so 61. And the reason you hold your fingers here is because you're actually gonna go back into that same chain where your fingers are at. Because now, you're gonna single crochet in the second chain from hook. So not counting the loop that's on the hook, but we're gonna count this V below it as one, and this V where your fingers is at as two. So in the second chain, which is this second V here, we're gonna go into there and do a single crochet. But now before we do that, we're actually gonna turn the chain over. So as you can see, this top side is gonna feel flat, and this bottom side, there's gonna be bumps, which we call the back bumps. We're actually gonna work into these bumps here in order to make the straps uh, smoother and cleaner. So, as I said, you know, here's the first V, here's the second V. You're going to hold your finger here, turn it over. This bump right here, we're just going to go into that. There should be one strand of the white and one strand of the blue, and we're just going to do a single crochet. So there was one, and we're going to continue this all the way down. It should have 60 single crochets. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Nineteen, twenty. We're getting there. Sometimes you gotta work your way into the back bones. It kind of gets a little difficult. <clears throat> I 
and while I'm doing this, I do just want to let you all know that since summer is ending and fall is beginning, I'm having to clean out some of my summer inventory in order to make room for new fall and winter items. So in order to do that, we are having a summer sale. On August the 1st, which is a Saturday, at 5 o'clock p.m., I will go live on my Facebook page and we'll do a summer sale that way. So how that'll work is I will show the item and give the sale price. If you want the item, just comment um, the name of the item that I'll tell you and your email address. That way I can invoice you for the payment and then we'll get that item to you. So be sure to tune in August the 1st at five o'clock to get some good items that are on sale. And then I'm also starting to take uh, Christmas orders like Christmas gift order so if you have anything in mind that you want to give somebody as a Christmas gift let me know so I can go ahead and get started working on those and have them done in time for Christmas all right we're almost there Oops, I missed one. Okay, just a few more. Okay, one more, and then I'm not going to completely pull through. Let me count and make sure that we have 60. Now, as you can see, the little the strap is kind of twisting, but it's fine. Just keep straightening it out, working it down. It'll, it'll end up straight. So there's 60, so that's your first row. So you're just gonna repeat this before you, you know, yarn over and complete this last stitch. You're actually gonna cut the blue and then come in with the next color that you use for the stripes on the bag with the white. And then you're gonna do rows two and three with the white and the other color that you used. And then the last row, row four, you're gonna go back to doing the same thing. So you're just gonna single crochet all the way across for 60 single crochets. So your strap should look like this. So the first row is the main color and your secondary color, which in my case is the blue and white, and then rows two and three is the tan and white, and then rows four is the blue and white again. So essentially the stripes that are on your bag, whatever color you use for those stripes, are gonna be sandwiched in between the two main colors on your straps. And now once you get your strap done, you're just going to take it, you're going to measure two inches from the edge of your bag, and that's where you're going to, two inches in and one inch down, and then that is where your strap will go. And you're just going to attach the strap the same way we did, we worked on attaching the two panels of the bag together. You're just going to take the two strands of yarn. So like in my case, the blue and white, you're gonna hold one strand each together, put it through your needle and just sew it on all the way around. 
And then again, on this side, you wanna, you know, make sure that your strap is straight and not twisted. But again, come two inches in and one inch down. And again, just go all the way around and sew. And then do that for both of your straps. So now that we've uh, done the strap part, I'm gonna show you how we're actually gonna go in and make the little button closure to keep the bag closed with the button that we have. So you can, you know, you can leave it like this without the button closure and just have the bag open, or you can add this button closure as well so that way you can have the button, so that way you can button the bag closed um, and leave it closed if you'd like. So again, for the button closure, we're just gonna take the strand of yarn so in my case, the, the main color is blue, so blue and white held together. And then we're gonna chain seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and now we're going to second, we're gonna single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So again, not counting the loop that's on the hook, but then we're gonna count the first V, and then this second V, so we're gonna go right into here. So we're going to single crochet. We're just going to go in, grab our yarn, and pull through both. And you're just going to go all the way down for a total of six. So that was, there's two, three, four, five, and six. So now once we've done our six, we're just gonna turn our work. We're gonna chain one. And now for rows two through 10, we're gonna do the same thing, just single cross. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that was row two. So we're going to turn, chain one, one, two, three, four, five, and six for row three, turn and chain, one, two, three, four, <coughs> five, and six for row four. Turn, chain, one, two, three, four, five, six for row five, turn and chain, one, two, three, four, five, six for row six, turn, chain, one, two, three, four, five, six for row seven, turn, chain, one, two, three, four, five, six for row eight, turn and chain, one, Two, three, four, five, six for row nine, turn and chain. One, two, three, four, five, six for row ten. Okay, so now we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain one. So for row 11, we're going to single crochet in the first two stitches. So we're going to go in one and two. Now we're going to chain two. So one and two. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches. So skip this one, skip this one. Then we're going to single crochet in the last two. So one and two. But before we finish off, we're going to grab our second color 
that we used on the bag for the straps. And we're going to cut off the main color, which in my case is the blue. And we're going to grab our main color, I mean our second color, and the white. Okay, and then we're just going to finish that stitch off. And then we're going to turn again, just holding the little stragglers behind so we can work over that. So we're going to chain one. And again, we're going to single crochet in the first two stitches. So one and two. We're going to do two single crochets in that chain two space here that we did with the blue. So we're just going to get into that space. We're going to do two single crochets in that space. Okay. And now we're going to single crochet in the last two stitches for a total of six again. So we'll just one and two. Now for our last row, we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip the first single crochet, single crochet in the next three. So skip this first one, go into the next three and just going to do a single. So one and two and three. Then we're going to skip the next one and we're going to single crochet in the last one for a total of four. So then once we get done with that, we're just going to fasten our yarn off both pieces. And there is our little button closure. So what you're going to do with this one is that once you get this finished, you're going to, whichever side you're going to work on the back, you're just going to take the little button closure, sew it on to the top of in the middle of the bag. So it looks like that. And then once you get that sewn on, you're just going to fold this over. See what we did? See how we did that there? So that way the second color on the button closure actually lines up with the stripes that we did on the back. But once you get the button closure sewn on to the bag, you're just going to fold it over. And wherever the little buttonhole is that we made, you're just going to sew your button onto the front of the bag right in there with that button. So then that'll complete your bag. And just make sure that with these little ends, you just weave them in here. And that completes your tote bag. You can also finish it off by adding some tassels to the side. Uh, you know, just take some yarn, fold it over a couple times, cut one end so that way it's still folded over, wrap the yarn around it and tie it, and then just tie it on there so you can have some tassels or you can do pom-poms on it, however you want to. So there is our completed bag. Now next week what we're going to start working on is you all have said that you want to start working on patterns with the graph. So I've actually went and I've actually made us a simple graph that we can use. So we're actually going to start working on this heart. So this is one pattern that I have made. And what it's actually done is it's actually blown it up into bigger sections. Let me see if I can get all these laid out here. Because then you'll just take the bigger graph here that's got blown up. And you'll actually just cut around it and then tape it together. So that way it's just one big graph that ends up getting put together. So this is what our project is going to end up looking like. It's just going to be a simple hard blanket. This way I can not only show you all how to read the graph, um, but also how to do color changes and stuff like that. But now it also comes with the written pattern as well. So it actually has row by row, you know, how many of each color that you need to do. So like this row one, which is the whole bottom row, it's all just white. And then the next row, you know, it tells you how many stitches to do in white, how many to do in the second color, and then how many to go back in and do in the white. So this is actually what we're going to be working on. We'll start working on next week. <clears throat> now, once we finish this, we'll probably move on to something more complex, something that has more color changes, maybe a more difficult graph. But for now, this is how we're going to start out working on graphs. We're just going to start with a simple uh, two color graph um, that's not very detailed. So hopefully you all will join me next week so that we can 
work, start working on the scrap. Um, again, if there's anything you all can think of that you all want to order, let me know. Or if there's anything that you all want to work on on this channel, let me know that as well. So again, thank you all for joining and happy crocheting.